War declared. The U.S. is now officially in an information battle with foreign media, which provide alternative views on world news, views which often run in contrast to the coverage of events by the U.S. mainstream media. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. I'll be very blunt in my assessment. Al Jazeera is winning. The Chinese have opened up a global English language and multi-language television network. The Russians have opened up an English language network. I've seen it in a few countries, and it's quite uh, instructive. We are cutting back. The uh, BBC is cutting back. Some five years ago, Western media outlets, including BBC and CNN, had a near monopoly in the coverage of world news. Things have changed since then. During the Cold War, we did a great job in getting America's message out. After the Berlin Wall fell, we said, okay, fine, enough of that. You know, we've done it, we're done. Um, and unfortunately, we are paying a big price for it. Last year, the head of the agency that manages the U.S. government-run international broadcasting asked for more money for his department. We can't allow ourselves to be outcommunicated by our enemies. The list of enemies included Russia, China, Iran, and Venezuela. Walter Isaacson, the head of the agency which runs Voice of America among other media outlets, later backtracked on this statement. Isaacson's pitch for more funding seemed even more unconvincing considering his agency has a budget of $750 million. And it's way more than the budget of RT, Iran's Press TV and Venezuela's Telesur combined.